Hey guys, today we are going to look at introduction to parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to answer the question, what are the characteristics of parallel and perpendicular lines? So parallel lines are lines that will never intersect, like over here. They never intersect because they have the same exact slopes. Perpendicular lines are going to intersect at a 90 degree angle. They do not have the same slopes. They have opposite reciprocal slopes. So to find perpendicular slopes, what we will do is flip the fraction, since that's what a reciprocal is, and change the sign. So on the first four, we are going to practice finding the perpendicular slope. So let's look at number one. They gave us a slope of two thirds and we need to find the perpendicular. I'm gonna use that symbol for perpendicular slope. So it is positive, I need to change the sign and make it negative. And then the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. So the perpendicular slope to two thirds would be negative three halves. Negative seven, uh, remember that is over an invisible one. That's gonna make it a little bit easier when I have to do the reciprocal now. So I'm gonna change the sign, it's gonna be positive, and then the reciprocal of seven is one seventh. So the perpendicular slope to negative sevenths is one seventh. Number three, the slope is one. If you wanna put it over that invisible one, you can. So the perpendicular slope to that is going to be negative since it was positive, and then one over one, which just simplifies to negative one. So the perpendicular slope to positive one is negative one. And then four, I have zero. If you think about this as a fraction, zero divided by any number is zero. So if I take the reciprocal of that, I would flip it and put the number on top and the zero on the bottom. I'm not worrying about the sign with zero since zero is a neutral number. So this is kind of the reciprocal to zero. Instead of the zero being in the numerator, it's in the denominator. And we cannot divide by zero, so that would be undefined. You can also think about this visually. If we have a zero slope, that is a horizontal line. And what is perpendicular to a horizontal line? That's a vertical line. And vertical lines have an undefined slope. Okay, on the last few, we are going to determine if the slopes of the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's look at this first one. I am given line A through 2, 3, negative 2, 3, and 2, 6, and then line B through 3, 3, and 6, negative 1. So I'm going to start by finding the slope of line A with the slope formula by doing y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 3, all over x2 minus x1, so 2 minus negative 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. So there's the slope of line A. Now let's find the slope of line B. This would be x1, y1, x2, and y2. So y2 minus y1 would be negative 1 minus 3 all over x2 minus x1, so 6 minus 3. So negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, and 6 minus 3 is 3. So we have 3 fourths and negative four thirds, which are opposite reciprocals. So these are perpendicular lines. And there's the symbol for perpendicular. All right, let's look at number six. I need to find the slopes again. So here is x1, y1, x2, and y2 for line C. So it'll be six minus seven for y2 minus y1, all over negative two minus negative four for x2 minus x1. Six minus seven is negative one, negative two plus four is two. So the slope of line C is negative one half. Now let's find the slope of line D. So 3 minus negative 2 all over 12 minus 2. 
that would be 3 plus 2, which is 5, over 12 minus 2, which is 10, and 5 over 10 simplifies to 1 half. So we have a negative 1 half slope, and we have a positive 1 half slope. So they are opposite signs, but they are not reciprocal. So this is neither. They are not parallel or perpendicular. Okay, number seven, gonna find line E. So y2 minus y1 would be five minus seven. x2 minus x1 would be one minus one. So five minus seven is negative two, one minus one is zero. And we cannot divide by zero. So this is an undefined slope. For line E. Let's see what happens with line F. There's x1, y1, x2, y2. So it would be 16 minus 8 all over negative 7 minus negative 7. 16 minus 8 is 8. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. So we have another undefined slope. So that means that we have two vertical lines. So these are parallel lines. Okay, number eight, they gave us two equations. And remember, we want equations to be in y equals mx plus b form to be able to determine the slope the coefficient of x. So if it's not in slope-intercept form, we will convert it. This first equation is in slope-intercept form because y it's by itself, and I can tell that the slope is two. This second equation, y is not by itself yet, I need to divide everything by five. And now y is by itself, 10 divided by five is two, five divided by five is one. So the slope here is also two. So since these equations have the same slopes, they are parallel. Okay, number nine, neither of these are in slope-intercept form, so let's convert. I'm going to divide by four on this first equation, and I get y equals 24x divided by four is six x, Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2, so the slope of this line is 6. Okay, first thing I need to do on this one is subtract x to get y by itself, and I get 6y equals negative x plus 30. And then we'll divide by 6 to get y by itself, and I get y equals negative x over 6 simplifies to negative 1 sixth x, and then 30 divided by six is five. So our slope here is negative one sixth. So I have a slope of six and a slope of negative six. Those are opposite reciprocals. So these are perpendicular. Okay, I need to convert. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, and I get negative 4y equals negative 4x plus 16. And then I'm going to divide everything by a negative 4, and I get y equals negative 4x divided by negative 4 is just x, and then 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. So the slope of this first equation is 1. Second equation, I'm going to subtract 12x from both sides, and I get 12y equals negative 12x plus 48. And then we'll divide everything by 12, and I get y equals negative 12x divided by negative 12 is negative x, and 48 divided by 12 is 4. So this slope is negative 1. So these are opposite slopes since we have a positive one and a negative one. And we looked at an example up above how one and one are reciprocals. So these are 
perpendicular lines. Okay, number 11, I have y equals 10 and y equals negative 10. So if you think about the graphs of these, they are both going to be horizontal lines. Since I have no x, that means we have a slope of zero. It would look something like this. So these are parallel lines. Since they both have a zero slope. Okay, then on number 12, x equals 9 would be a vertical line with an x-intercept at 9. So it would be something like this. And then y equals 9 is a horizontal line with a y-intercept of 9. So we have a horizontal and a vertical line, which means that these are perpendicular. And then last one I have x equals 13 and x equals 7. These are both vertical lines. We would have an x-intercept of 13 and then an x-intercept of 7. Both vertical lines going through the x-axis. So these lines are parallel. Parallel. 